Hey leaders, welcome to the weekend preview video for November 20th and 21st. The Bible is alive! Ah! Let's go! So for the month of November, The Loop Show has been taking us on a trip to explore the Museum of the Bible in Washington, D.C. And through this journey, we've been looking at a different word that helps understand and describe what the Bible is. And today's word is alive. The Bible is alive, or the Bible is living. I can just hear it now as we express this and explain this to kids. How can a book be alive? Well, as we are going to learn today, the claim that the biblical authors are making is that the Bible isn't just a book, it's more than a book. It is the very breath and life of God communicated to living people to guide us and to lead us into becoming truly human people made and designed to live out the way that God created us to be. So let's explore how we can be teaching and ex explore how we can, uh, how we're going to demonstrate this reality to kids as we go into our next segment, which focuses on our small group activity and our discussion. For the activity this weekend, there will be a variety of different verses in an envelope in your guys' small group bins. And you'll give each student a verse card and display a variety of different pictures that will be in your bin as well and lay them out on the ground in your small group area. The job of the students is to identify which picture their verse best associates with in their mind, in their, in their experience. Students can select whatever picture they want and it doesn't have to be a picture that has already uh, has, has been taken or not been taken. They can all put their verses on one picture however they want to put their verse. That's, that's kind of the idea. Notice that in the small group activity guide, it will say that we're going to put the pictures all up throughout the classroom on the walls. I went away from that idea because I realized that not every group meets in the classroom, so that wouldn't work very well. So we'll do individualized pictures for each group. After the verses and the pictures have been assigned at that point, you can bring the illustration full circle and make sure that you read the important note at the bottom of the activity guide, which basically summarizes this point. The Bible isn't relative, but it is relevant, meaning we can't necessarily assign the meaning of the Bible to our own experience, but it does relate to where, where we are at and it does connect with us where we're at. So that's the activity for the week. And then after that activity, throughout this series, we've been trying to create some space for our group to do SOAP together, which is an acronym that we use at Life Center, standing for Scripture, Observation, Application, and Prayer. And so in your guys' small group bins again this week, we will provide the journal pages as well as the bookmarks that can help you guys work through that activity together. And in your small group discussion sheet, there'll be some questions and some direction to help you do that as well. And I would encourage you guys to use the same verse that you um, that that we have for this series for this particular week, which is 1 Timothy 3:16, focusing on the scripture as being the breath of God and the purposes that God's given us the scripture for. So that will be what small group time will look like this week. All of the resources that you need are incorporated into the email that I'm sending out. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. This has been a fun series helping us to connect kids with the Bible. And I'm looking forward to and continuing that conversation this weekend. All right, I'll see you guys this weekend. Come 30 minutes prior to service for our classroom huddle. And if you have your Team Kids shirt, please wear it. All right, I'll see you guys this weekend. Bye.